and it's time to get Ruby out for the day. Everyone is back here. They looked at me through the door this morning like, what is going on, Mom? We back to early hours again? I did bring a pumpkin home from Walmart last night. I've got some stuff to stick in it. And then we might, a, a witch thing this year. I've got a couple of kitties and an owl, but this year there's a new witch. Good morning, boys. Don's morning juggling act. Ruby's gonna get wet, but she stayed clean for 10 days this oh, yeah. time. Right, yeah, right, at least this time it wasn't a waste to have washed her, and then two days later she's filthy. So, yeah, I think we uh, got lucky on her. She still looks real good. Yeah, she does. I agree. I totally agree. Good morning, little ones. We're a little late. <laughs> little late it's already 6 40 something yeah 6 43 we got the scoop so we have a uh, partly cloudy chance of rain showers as dawn said day to day that sky looks pretty um interesting this morning we'll call it ruby says it's 70 degrees and um yeah well i think we all enjoyed a few days of being off the road um, only because of the not having to get up at 5.30 part. The driving part's no problem. The 5.30 part, especially when it's this dark out, that's not so much fun. But, um, yeah, we had a, we had a nice little, nice little break there. 7.17 a.m. and Ruby just went, uh, into day mode. Approaching downtown again, the clouds. We're on target to get across town by 7.24 a.m., which is technically on time, so late on time, later than I want to be, um, but we're doing okay this morning. Nothing too interesting along the way, and it feels like a Monday, even though it's a Wednesday. Well, it's 7.28, but that leaves him enough time to scurry up to the third floor, um, before he would be marked late, so he should be fine. There are a lot of other students, high school, early college students, piling into the building where they start their day off, so I think we're good. I would just rather not cut it quite so close because, as you know, that leaves no room for any uh, extra stuff happening on the way in in the morning, and throughout the year, there's usually some extra stuff going on. I'm headed back to Fuquay. I am going to run into Harris Teeter. We need cream cheese for tonight's dinner and this morning running into Harris Teeter when it's on the correct side of the road, my side of the road coming into town, that's the right time to stop. So I had let Don know I was going to do that. After being in the car for nearly two hours, I am always ready to uh, get out and stretch my legs. The, the seat is perfectly comfortable for me. Every once in a while, the seat belt hits me up a little higher than I'd like, but the actual seat is great. You know, people are asking me, how often do you have to stop to charge? Well, God, I uh, not, not, uh, not very often, and uh, we stop more often than we have to because Don and I like to get out and stretch, <laughs> which is pretty much true. That and the charge curve does better. And, you know, why limit your drinking of water when you can stop and use the facilities? And anyway, I have, at this point in my life, have no desire to go longer than two, two and a half hours without stopping to stretch for five or ten minutes. Well, I got everything I needed and I'm headed to the house. I asked Dawn to meet me because I have more things than you would have expected, uh, considering I went in for cream cheese. <laughs> Uh, and garlic powder and some uh, broccolini and uh, well you get the gist. I already messaged Michelle this morning about a skeleton octopus in the Halloween decoration section and you guessed it she already has it. We're gonna be leaving for our walk a little late we'll have to watch the time I have to be at the vet with Marty for his leukemia booster shot at 1030. Totally doable. Um, and Don will be taking his 9.30 conference call from the trail.
which he said he was prepared to do. I don't know what these guys would have done if I hadn't put the bench over there. Right? Thank you for coming out and helping get me back on track. No, just take Ruby today. Since I got to turn around and go to the vet and Don's got the conference call, I normally drive home from the park. Just more convenient. That's new. We don't know. And the little pieces of metal on top seem to indicate to me they don't want birds landing on it. Yeah, and I would say they put stakes into the ground. So it's going to be there a while. Yeah. Yeah, huh? Marine gauge? I don't know. It's not a not your typical weather station. I got to talking to a nice older lady on lap two. Her car is being serviced across the street. The other side of the trees there. It's a nice little small town um, automotive repair place and inspection. Uh, so now I'm going to run here on the third lap. Don is in the parking lot taking the call away from the noise. I really appreciate when he comes with me, but I feel bad that his de-stress time is sort of stressful. Sounds like it's going okay today though. Well, let's see. We went walk for 55 minutes, 42 seconds, uh, 5,707 steps, uh, 2.64 miles, uh, 2105, 21 minutes, five seconds per mile. But now that's me because I didn't run but the once or twice because I was basically walking back and forth. Right, well we're not gonna worry about today when we got conference calls or we, you know, whatever. I ran at least four segments and kept my heart in the range. I'm sure I've got over 30 exercise minutes with no problem. There we go, that's the right answer. Marty's loaded up back there. That wasn't too hard at all. Well, Marty did great. He stayed in the little, um, exam room with me. I didn't have to send him to the back or anything. He took his shot. It was actually two boosters, distemper and feline leukemia. And I asked her to double check his uh, ears again because he's been a little itchy and um, he has a yeast infection, most primarily in the right ear. And she thinks at one point in his life, because he's six years old at least, she says, uh, he must have had untreated ear mites. And sometimes when that goes on for a long time, they uh, their ear like gets inflamed and swells up and it never quite, the canal never quite goes back to its normal size. Smaller canal, more prone to yeast infections. So I've got to put antibiotic drops in his ears twice a day. I didn't look for how many days, but probably until the bottle's gone or seven to 10. So Johnny will get to help with that. Yeah, he took it in. She put the first drops in and it was pretty easy with two people. So, um, but I imagine as that goes on, just like tucks with his antibiotics when I have to give it to him that um, he's, uh, you know he's gonna not he's gonna not appreciate it too much no stopping at guardian angel to take a quick peek the uh, eardrops have got to go back in the refrigerator they're a refrigerated antibiotic so straight to the house we go he was a good boy though you'd have been proud of him so I don't know what all they did last week when the road was closed but I did look um, in through the tarp the you know screen at the bottom last week and saw that they have laid cement on the bottom floor and I'm thinking that dirt we saw in the street was them uh, you know filling in the foundation and laying probably pouring the cement it looks like the floor has been laid and I do see now they're starting to put on the outside skin up on the upper floors so it's definitely definitely coming along I'll have to pay attention again to when they say that building is supposed to be done political signs up all over town now with um you know that's election year for the mayor and apparently a few uh, town commissioners and uh with mayor Byrne not running for re-election that's definitely leading uh making it uh, quite the uh, race this year I ha I, Don and I don't get to vote because we're just outside of the city limits. It affects us a lot, but we don't get to vote. Um, we're okay with that, but I'm just mentioning it's sort of like, well, I won't get to vote for mayor anyway. I probably would vote for whomever Mayor Burns said was the person that he recommended. And I say that not having any idea what party 
Mayor Byrne is affiliated with. I really don't. When it comes for mayor, I really don't know. And it doesn't matter. I just thought he did a good job. It doesn't matter what his party affiliation is. And the one town commissioner, Wunsch, W-U-N-S-C-H, he is a nice guy. He had his home open for the tour of homes we did like three Christmases ago. He has a new baby and um, he runs the Today in the Quay Facebook page and weekly newsletter. And I'm pretty impressed with him. He is an attorney. <laughs> That's never a plus for anyone with me, but um, uh, he runs his has a little office in Anger. As a matter of fact, when we went through our uh, Lillington, Lillington, when we went down there the other day, we actually saw the little law firm. But I, you know, I imagine town commissioner and uh, keeping up with the town news since we don't have the in, the Fuquay Independent newspaper is shut down. Uh, it's not a full time job. He does still, you know, have his law firm. I don't know what kind of law he practices. Um, probably would be good to understand that. But anyway, it'd be interesting to see who gets elected. It's the, we want things to stay the same. We don't want any growth. You've got to slow down the growth. We're so mad at you. We think you're pocketing money on this real estate development crowd to the, Fuquay needs more good restaurants. And we don't have a, well, we just found out we're gonna get a bowling alley and a theater which we don't have and people are pretty excited. But anyway, there's the keep it the same, keep all of those people that have moved in out and uh, you know, let's get some more healthy growth in this town and keep things prosperous crowd. So I think that's how the election's gonna be split. I've been working for about an hour and a half and it's time for me to go get Johnny. Um, I put this black fluted border all the way around and installed the window sills, so you can see where those go now. There's actually a triangular window that juts out here and here on the back. Um, I also started obviously the stairwell and I did just enough outside walls to see where the stripes are because the interior stairwell was all white and I didn't want to do that. I wanted it to have the stripes and be orange and not solid white. So I've been having to think over here a little extra on how to do that properly. And probably another 30 minutes to an hour to get the stairwell done and um, the stripes all lined up and everything. But like I said, I gotta go get Johnny, so I got to stop for now. You hold down the fort for me, Tux, okay? I'll be back in a little while. It's time to go get Johnny. I had fun with my Lego thing. I just I wish I had 30 minutes to finish that part of the puzzle, you know? Stopping in the middle of that part of the puzzle. Bye, Mart Mart. Is hard. It looks like today might be the day when they're pouring the cement. Maybe? I don't know. They don't need a front loader for cement. But yeah, okay. It was cement day. Looks like one more dump truck or excuse me, cement truck to come back and they'll have the entranceway part done. Looks like all of the cement for the sidewalk part was laid. Way cool. At one point today, it seriously looked like it might shower, but then it sort of cleared up and now there's all these big weather changing clouds up there again. I don't know. It makes for a pretty sky, an interesting sky to look at on the drive in to Raleigh this afternoon though. I'm on target for 2.15. That's a good time. We made it back to Fuquay and I'm sitting here in the Walmart parking lot waiting for Johnny to get his hair cut. Tomorrow is business suit full dress for uh, his business class and it'll be nice to get a trim before he's got to put his suit back on. When you're being followed on Main Street. So 103 miles today, 307 watt hours per mile. That's one of the best uh, values Ruby's capable of getting. She's been down below 300 in the like 290s a few times. Just uh, getting ready to hit 86,000 miles. 
She's got 104 miles of rated range left. I'm going to go ahead and plug her ah, in. Ah, you held down the fort just like I asked you to. That's a good boy, Tux. Good boy. Now don't go get in a fight because they're all here.